We want to contrast a jigsaw and a scroll saw today and tell you uh, some information about each of these. Why would you want them? What would you use them for? And what would be best for you for the project that you're doing now or that you will be doing in the near future? This jigsaw is a very, very basic tool. I would say it's probably the kind of saw you would want to get as your first electrical saw, your first power saw. It's a very simple saw in that it, the blade reciprocates. It goes up and down, up and down because you generally have it in this position when you're cutting. And so you put the wood underneath it and you go through the wood like that. Uh, it's a very versatile saw. It can cut a wide variety of materials. You can see the thickness that it can cut, which is just about as thick as that blade sticking out the bottom. And so it is a go-to saw. The other nice thing about it is you can take this saw to the workpiece. You don't have to bring the workpiece to the saw. That can be very, very important. The scroll saw is used primarily to cut very tight and intricate curves and turns in wood and it's generally used on thin material. So you would use this particular saw in crafty kind of projects like if you were making Christmas ornaments or you were sometimes making toys for the kids or making things like actual jigsaw puzzles where you have to cut very intricate turns. Um, almost every do-it-yourselfer has a jigsaw and most every homeowner ought to have a jigsaw whether you're serious about do it, you do it, doing it yourself or not. This cuts easily through two-befores, it cuts easily in plywood, it can also do turns and if you Put a smaller blade on it it can do a very tight turn not as tight of course as this scroll saw but it still can do very tight turns it does not give you a very smooth or accurate finish on the cut on the surface that's cut uh, it has definitely uh, a need to be sanded or otherwise finished a bit after you uh, do the cut, unless you're simply cutting lumber uh, and not trying to do anything that's going to look too presentable. So again, to compare and contrast, this is used, this jigsaw is used on thick material. You take the saw to the material. You don't have to bring the material to the saw as you do with a scroll saw. Uh, it can cut a variety of material. Uh, and it's a real workhorse. It can really, really put out some sawdust and cut some pieces for you. The scroll saw, uh, on the other hand, is used for tight, intricate cuts. It's used for smaller, crafty kind of projects like Christmas ornaments, as we pointed out, uh, and perhaps jigsaw puzzles. If you, uh, we have more information uh, both in article form and video form in precisely how to use each of these saws and there are links below that will direct you to that. And as always, if you like what you see and we're providing you with useful content, please click the subscribe button and follow us.